Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished my northwest detour. So these were extra hard rail puzzles where a moose was always looking the wrong way. 38, what's gonna happen here in this section? Possible new mechanic, though maybe it's too late in the game for that. Yeah, it's never too late. You could have a new mechanic in the very last level. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Alright, so this looks like more of the same. Looking the wrong way, rail in conflict. Uh, I have a suspicion as to how this is going to be resolved. So yeah, obvious thing is these two don't really have the room to... Uh... Yeah, there's no way that's going to work. Um... So if each one goes in a cart, then I just have two carts full of angry animals that are going to collide with each other and not really do what I want. So, the tracks are looking at each other here, so to speak. However, in what way would that help me? So the line that goes somewhere other than intersecting the other line going the opposite direction is here, right in the middle. That feels like the most productive place to look, however... It's hard to see how it could help. One on one end goes into a card. It feels like it doesn't matter which end I do first. Like this operation looks like it'll be symmetrical. I can do it one way or the other. This is no good because I can't move that cart. If I just ditch you now, sure, I can do... I still can't actually do the rest because now you're in the way. Same is true the other direction. So how do I get a moose to just kind of be like right here in this position out of my way? I don't. No, I really don't. I need a different, better plan. I'm putting the left one in first because I'm closer to it. Let's start with the right one. So, this is obviously no good. That loses the puzzle. This. Somehow that's going to work. But how would that be? The closest to working that I currently understand how to get to would probably look like this. Uh, but they're facing each other, so no. They just won't charge. Mm hmm not gonna work. I am a moose. This is the route I follow, roughly. Or the other direction, but also I can go across here. Any line, any straight line can be projected upward or downward if it's vertical, leftward and rightward if it's horizontal. And that also forms the area I can reach. This is too wide, 
This is only one wide before the corner. So different straightaway length in case that matters. Like, it's just one very specific trick move that I need to see that I'm not seeing here. So let's just try a bunch of stuff. Yeah, no way into a card after that, so that's definitely bad. If horizontal cart... This is no good. Could I... Okay, here's a query. A transfer between carts over here is possible, right? I'm fairly certain it is. And that might be why that's wider. Okay, this feels like it's a key to something. That seems important. Okay, but why? Yeah, I can pretend that's important for something, but that doesn't actually do anything for me at all. I could have done it up here. Would up here have been better? I suspect... Mm. No, like, where's my opportunity to get somebody in this middle section and then later operate on them? And even if I did that, how exactly would that help me? Oh wait. Yo, check it. I see the trick, so... Alright, so pay close attention to this shuffle I do. Vertical. Horizontal. At the corner. Oh, this is silly. Oh, this is very silly. Look at this. This is the trick. Go here, push north, and now you're facing north. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so I just turn it around in place. That makes no sense as far as, like, the, uh... The cart's orientation. Like, this... This cart is doing a right turn by turning left 90 degrees. However, I understand why it works by the game rules. A moose faces away from the direction that it's going. Alright, yeah, so just ignore, like, real-world logic. This is moose logic. It doesn't work the same. Alright, so same trick. How was that? Like this? Like this? Alright, that's very silly. You go here, you turn around, because you can do that just by magic. And we're done. Great. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I was looking for a trick more, like, geometric than, uh, you know, more, like, positioning-wise. Well, that was positioning-wise. What am I trying to say? Nothing. Just gibberish. Whatever. 39. Hi. I'm here. This puzzle is a slightly different format. There is one looking away from a plate, however, not in the same way that I'm used to. Okay. Two carts. Um, it's not necessarily invalid to do this. Why would I though? That's kind of pointless. Uh, okay, so let's say you was going in there and you're going this way. That facing is the wrong way. I need counterclockwise only. And I have two clockwises. Counterclockwise gets from there to here and from here to there. Okay, so mount up or remount in a counterclockwise facing. However, this one is facing the wrong way for that, and so is the other one. 
So find a way to affect that facing. Can I go around and pull the same trick I pulled last time? The way the puzzles were gated would imply that that's what I want to do. This is a kind of magic spot here. Things can happen right in that area. Uh, so a transfer from clockwise to counterclockwise would happen here. South to north in the center would work. Oh, wait, that can actually be done pretty simply. All right, let's ignore one and just pay attention to rotation direction. However, I don't even need to ignore. This just works. I can get a line of sight blocker or just a uh, way to mount up and... Oh, I think I'm done. Just had to understand the concept. And then it just kind of happens. Cool. Okay. I'm going to do it in the same place. There might be other viable places, but I've already... Uh, figured out a pattern that works for this place. This probably involve more shuffling than necessary because you're going all the way around the loop just about. But this is the way I know. Whoops! And that's gonna work. Cool. It's still funny to me that the gate reacts to being opened before it actually gets opened. <laughs> I understand why it happens, but it's funny. 40! That moose is blue. Are you different? Oh, yeah! Okay, there is a new mechanic in here. So Frostbite Moose turns around after colliding. That's fun. That one's warm-blooded. Okay. So. A reversible moose. That's pretty good. How will I use it? For one thing like this. Oh, and you reversed again, of course, but that's fine. Okay, so, simple tutorial puzzle. Just how to operate with a reversible. Neat. Alright, 41. Hmm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I have a suspicion the two warm-blooded mice are going in the north and south. Seems easy enough to achieve so far. Will there be a complication? Doesn't seem like it. All right, done. Cool. Forty-two. Man, I was moving right along here. I might be closer to the end of this game than I thought I was. Okay, so Snow's doing that thing that it does sometimes. That's fine, don't worry about it. Game's still perfectly playable. All right, so three reversibles, no other obstacles, and I have to get them there. Okay. If bumped, you do that, of course. If I bump twice, then I'll run out of space to do things. Now I could just have you butt into that other one a few times and move to the right place, almost. Reversibles have the same friendly fire rules as normal, right? Yes, okay. It's worth checking. So this isn't quite right. I don't think an orientation change... Oh, it could help, I think. If I keep on doing this, there might have been a shorter path, but that's okay. This will do. Ah, uh, I've made a mistake. Okay, so let's try now to uh, 
bump you and see what happens. I mean, what I expect. It's not right. This isn't both at once. Hmm. Because of the small amount of space on the right... So I can't ever create this situation, that's a problem. Just make sure that doesn't happen. So that's an invalid state. Gotta be facing away. I mean, I don't feel like I have a whole lot of options. I can pretty much do this. Then the south one will run into one or the other. This is the... Oh, hang on. What if you turn back now and, like, do some more complicated bumping? Yeah, okay, I think I can re-bump. Hmm, why do I think that? Well, I have a little more space to operate here. I am... Yeah, no, oh, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. How would this happen? Well, I need to understand the preconditions better. That's just set up an impossible situation. So I'd have to do this. Uh, and then I'm just back in that situation again, and it's no good. Okay, what's the precondition to the victory state? Who's the last moose that moves? Who is the last moose that moves? It's not the bottom one. Probably. Okay, I think I need one here facing west the south one to bump into it. No, wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, okay, so I think... Center plate facing west. East plate... No, south plate facing north, east plate facing west. Yeah, so like, I need to get one in the middle. Bump it from the bottom to face it north. But so basically like, teleport this moose one, two, three, four tiles to the east. And that's my pre-end state. Okay, but I can't do that because of sight line rules and other reasons. Okay, yeah, so that would be an end state if I could achieve it, but I can't. Now I can move you north and then reorient this and continue what I was doing. But that's not a meaningful state change. Now I've lost because you're too far over and you can't turn around. Uh, I guess to do that I would have to do this, but now you're facing that way and you two won't charge the way I want. What? Okay, so different precondition. Different precondition.
A bump from west to east in the center row. Cannot result in both of those being populated at the same time. So that's not how it ends. I can't have north-south facing in this column. That's impossible as far as I can tell. So no north-south facing in that column. Oh, but what if I switch? Yeah, okay, I think I see what's productive here. Do that bump. Do this bump a bunch. Switch your axis. Get you out of the way. Switch sides on this one. Uh, bump here. Reorient. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, whoops. Okay, I needed to have gone across there. That's fine. Now you're not looking at me and I can make it to the exit. All right. Cool. 43. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, I didn't see you up there. You're the same color as the trees. All right. So 1... Frostbite, two warm-blooded. These are my names. <laughs> Game doesn't give me names, so I'll make up my own. <laughs> That's the way it works. All right, so you're very friendly as far as box moving goes. Like I can move boxes with yeah, like the 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 reversibility of you changes the dynamics quite a bit. Okay, so mostly I want to keep those two in their positions. Yeah, if the, if the south two ever move, mm, one of them could move. But at least one needs to stay stationary. One of them could be bumped into by... Uh, well, well, hold on. Mm hmm. All right, so my my line of sight block it. Wait, no. Okay, so if I go up here, you act as a line of sight blocker like this. Okay, I've done some box jailbreaking. However, that's going to undo itself. Hmm, no, I see the problem here. I haven't jailbroken anything at all, really. Well, I mean, are you sure? Things are over there, but I can't operate on that. Hmm. Mm. Like, now I lose you. So I have to go past this laser beam... This laser beam here... In order to uh, ever turn you around. Mr. Frostbite. I don't want to lose your east-west orientation. You need to keep that in order to eventually get onto this plate. There's a thing in the position where I want it. Yeah, cool. Hmm. If I could have you where you are facing the other direction, but I can't. Uh, 
Yeah, what would this look like? Like, how would I... One box starts southwest, the other one is past the, like, in a different... Uh, sextant? It's like a quadrant, but there are six of them. It's a north sextant. That is probably not the right word. Maybe it is. Uh, I need all the boxes to get into the northeastmost subdivision. If both boxes have to go up there, without the vertical laser beams being tripped, I can sometimes trip the horizontal one. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so here's what I wasn't thinking about. The fact that you turn around as soon as you bump into something. So I would do what exactly? Not that. <laughs> That's not recommended. Uh... This, I think? Uh, yes, you stay there, then I can stealth my way through this and get my boxes where they're going. Okay, what operation was that? It's kind of complicated. But I think I go there, transfer you, send both boxes south one, transfer you again, and then I'm able to do what I need. Okay, I, once again, could not really verbalize that, but I could do it, and that's all I needed. Uh, yeah, you'll look at me, but that's okay. Uh, right. You just charge around, all angry. But eventually, we'll both get where we need to go. Okay. Alright, well, I'm not gonna step into 44 right now. One, two, three, four, five, six puzzles left total. Well, how hard are these endgame puzzles gonna be? I could conceivably finish this next time, maybe. Well, I guess we'll find out when that happens.